Hey everyone, welcome back to Virtualization How To. I'm Brandon Lee, and today we have some exciting news for all virtualization enthusiasts out there. VMware has made a big move by offering VMware Workstation Pro for free for personal use. In this video, I'll walk you through the details and show you how to get started with this free use personal edition. So let's dive right in. First of all, if you're not familiar with VMware Workstation Pro, what is it exactly? Well, VMware Workstation Pro is a powerful desktop virtualization tool for running multiple operating systems on a single PC. And it's widely used today by many IT professionals, DevOps engineers, developers, and tech enthusiasts. But now VMware is offering the software for free for personal use. Now, this is a game changer for anyone looking to explore virtualization without breaking the bank, or if you are wanting to run a home lab on a budget. So what's the catch? Well, there really isn't one. VMware has decided to allow personal use for free with VMware Workstation Pro, which means you can download, install, and use VMware Workstation Pro without any cost. However, it's important to note that this free version is strictly for personal, non-commercial use. So if you're planning to use it for a business or for commercial purposes, you'll still need to purchase a license for VMware Workstation Pro. So why are they doing this? Well, according to Broadcom, and I quote, the official blog post for this announcement states, our goal with these changes has been to simplify how we bring VMware desktop hypervisor apps to market. While maintaining our support of the broader community of VMware Workstation and Fusion users of both free and paid products. So that is the official statement or reason that was announced why they are offering this product for free. Now, the cynical part of me says that Broadcom has received so much kickback from the community and enterprise organizations over the massive licensing changes that they have made, and especially removing the free version of ESXi that is simply a move to provide an olive branch to the community by allowing us to download VMware Workstation Pro and Fusion Pro for free for personal use. Now, don't get me wrong, I think this is an excellent move by Broadcom and many, many will benefit from this. However, it just makes me wonder if this is the case. Now, let's get into the details of how to download and install VMware Workstation Pro for free. The first step is to head over to Broadcom support and visit their support website. Now I've included a link in the description below. Once you're on the website, you navigate to the Workstation Pro section and click on the download button. Now, if you don't have an account already, you're going to be prompted to create a VMware account. And this is fairly quick and easy, and it's similar to any other sign up page that you will visit. They're going to send you a confirmation email, and they're going to have you type in a one time passcode that verifies that you are the one that um, initiated the sign up request. So after you get that out of the way, you're going to log in with that account. And it makes it simple if you just simply go back to their blog post and click back on the download link. So once you're logged in, Click on the download link and it's going to take you directly to where you need to go to download the installer for your specific operating system. Now, VMware provides versions for both Windows and Linux. Once the download is complete, uh, you're going to run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions. The installation process is straightforward and you'll have VMware Workstation Pro up and running in no time. Now, where do you actually tell the installation that you have the personal edition. In my testing, after installation, you're going to be prompted to enter a license key like we've always seen. But since this is the free version for personal use, you can just select to skip this step. 
And then once you launch VMware Workstation for the first time, you will have the ability to select the personal use radio button. And that's literally it. And you now have access to VMware Workstation Pro installed and ready uh, to use for free and for your personal use. Now, this is an incredible opportunity, really, to explore the capabilities of desktop virtualization and really uh, experiment with various operating systems like we like to do with a home lab without any investment. So you can install this on any PC that you may have laying around. And what I like about this is that to take advantage of something like Hyper-V, you have to have the pro version of Windows either 10 or 11 installed. Well, with VMware Workstation Pro, there is no limitation with that. So you can have Windows Home Edition, either Windows 10 or 11 Home Edition, and this is going to work as expected. Now, you can do many exciting things with Workstation Pro, as you would expect with a polished VMware product. Uh, it has wide capabilities and compatibilities with any, basically any operating system you want to run. And it's perfect for testing, for development, for learning new technologies. And it has all of those bells and whistles that you would expect like snapshots, cloning, remote connections. I, I really like how they have also matured the networking part of VMware Workstation Pro. So we can do some really cool things. You can create uh, various networks, VLAN tag networks, you can rename the networks, and all of those things that we love to do in the home lab to carve up networking and to separate out that traffic. Now, if you're new to VMware Workstation or virtualization in general, don't worry, I've got plenty of tutorials and guides on this channel to help you get started. So make sure to check those out and subscribe for more great content from Virtualization How To and upcoming videos that I know you're going to enjoy. Well, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates. Well, stay safe out there, keep on home labbing, and I will see you guys on the next video.